breast lift. So it's quite common now, especially with fat transfer as well, to not have the implants, um, but to just literally have your breasts moved up. It's not as simple as the surgeon just pulling up. What they need to do is to cut in and they reconstruct what's going on inside. So very often, not every time, but very often you will have um, a scar where the surgeon needs to just reposition everything back in place. That scar will generally heal over time. The faster you heal, then the less scarring a person will generally have um, just because there's no chance of infection if you're healing faster because everything needs to get there without staying open for longer, okay? Um, now, if you have lymphatic drainage after, it's not as an intense program as if you were having a liposuction where you could get fibrosis, but there can be fibrosis around that um, scar as well. So if that comes, it's not lymphatic drainage, but it's something that can be dealt with later on as well. So do think about having a couple of lymphatic drainage, even if you've had a breast lift. If though, you've had fat transfer into your breast, then we don't want to be touching that because we need to allow, that fat is a living organism, and so we need to allow it to figure out where it is now. It's been taken from one place and put into a new home. So we need to give it time to figure that out and to start to um, develop the the mechanics to stay alive we don't want to be flushing it out through your lymphatic system but if you have had a fat transfer then what will also happen is that fat has to come from somewhere so you will have had liposuction if you've had liposuction you need lymphatic drainage on that area and this is where things start to be get not complicated as such but you need to have somebody who knows what they're doing doing your aftercare for you